Hey everyone, Kevin from Robertson's Power and Sports. Right now, today, we're in Lake George, New York, going to take out these Sea-Doo switches for a test drive. Why don't you come along with us and try them out? All right, everyone, so we just finished up test driving these all new Sea-Doo switches here up on Lake George, New York. Took so almost five hours to get out here today, but I gotta say it was absolutely worth it. We got to ride in a 21 foot cruise. We also got to ride in a 18 foot uh, sport and a 13 foot sport as well. I gotta tell you, the handling on the 13 and the 18 foot boat are unbelievable. Uh, those things will turn on a dime. They're super fun. You will get wet riding them. So um, like I said, definitely a lot of fun to ride those. Uh, good power, you know, we rode uh, two of the boats had 230 horsepower motors in them. One of them had the 170 in it, but again, super, super fun. Uh, I will say that pictures don't do these boats justice at all, um, especially when it comes to the interior of these boats. The seats are super, super comfortable. Uh, I know, like I said online with pictures, they don't look that great, but I will tell you they're a good quality seat, uh, super, super comfortable. And you know, I take a walk around in here. I'll show you, they got good storage underneath. Uh, just go ahead and flip up the seat. You're gonna have storage underneath, and these do interconnect, so you can put some fairly decent sized stuff underneath the seat here. And as we've talked before, you know, you can take these seats out and rearrange them uh, any way you want. It's super, super easy. There's just a lever right down here on the bottom. Just lift this lever right up, pull it straight out, and the seat's gonna come right out of there for you. And you can essentially put it anywhere else on the, on the boat. Uh, that has the locking tabs underneath. So uh, this boat here also has the uh, premium audio system in it. Um, JL Audio does it for BRP. I tell you, I was super impressed with it. Um, yeah, it's a little bit expensive, but I think when you're out on the water, you want to be able to hear what you're, uh, what you're listening to. And if you're a music lover, I think this is a must have accessory. Uh, also on this boat here, we got the double bimini top. Um, super, super rugged while you're underway. I think that, you know, people may, Ask that question as to, hey, you know, is that super rugged? Can I go full speed while underway? Um, absolutely, this thing isn't shaking around at all. I really, really, really like it a lot. Um, as far as storage goes, there's plenty of options as far as accessories. You will see on these corners, on the corner seats, you can put a uh, bag that'll link right into the back of here, which I do like. Uh, down here, we've got a link cooler. If you're familiar with other BRP products, whether it's, you know, Skidoo, Can-Am, you're going to be familiar with the link products. This stuff just snaps right in. Super, super nice. Um, moving back here. One thing I do like about the driver's seat is this bolster right here. So you want to sit kind of down and low in the boat. You leave that bolster down. You want to get elevated up a little bit. Super easy. Just go ahead and pull it up. It's going to get you a little bit better view, especially if you have passengers in the front of the boat. So moving around here to the back of the boat these back seats here. They do fold down. They offer you a nice sun pad here in the back. Also, you can see this boat here has a swim platform on it. It's got the link attachments on it as well. So you can put a range of accessories back there, whether it's gonna be a cooler, fuel can, um, you know, some storage boxes as well. 
anything that you want to put back there, you feel free to, uh, that has a link attachment. All right, so I wanted to take a quick minute and hop inside the 13 foot sport with you. You know, people talk about a 13 footer and they think, man, that's gonna be really, really small. I gotta tell you, you hop in this boat and it is super roomy. You can fit, fit four or five people in here, no problem. Um, this little sun lounger here is very comfortable to be out there. You're down low, but you can see out of the boat without any issues at all. So just wanted to take a minute, show you inside here, this 13 footer. And like I said, I think this is gonna be a great boat for some people that are on some smaller lakes. Maybe you're on the, on the border of buying or on the cusp of buying a sea watercraft. Maybe this is gonna be a, you know, a better option for you. You can put some more people in it and still have just as much fun. Uh, these things here will spin on a dime. Super, super fun. So definitely don't count out the 13 footer. Um, give, it a, give it a look at it at least, and depending on the body of water you want, you're on, this may be the right boat for you. Our overall experience out there, Rode in, like I said, three different boats. I think the 13 foot boat for sure is gonna be the most maneuverable, super, super fun and playful, very similar to a Sea-Doo watercraft uh, if you've been out there on those. Um, the 18 footer, I really like that boat awful lot. That thing there really could spin around, uh, super easy. Again, another real playful boat. Uh, if I'm being 100% honest in this review, I will say that when you spin these boats, even with a 230 horsepower, it kind of lags down. It will take a little bit more time to get back up on, onto plane. I did notice that a little bit, but again, not a huge issue for most people. They're not going to be spinning these things. So um, I think that's kind of a, a non-issue, but I do want to be honest with you about that. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about engine noise or a lot of questions about engine noise. I don't feel that these boats have a lot of engine noise or jet pump noise. Um, I will tell you that if you pop open the panel in the floor, um, you do hear it then. And when you close it, you really do get an idea of how quiet these boats really are, okay? Uh, the other thing I do wanna talk about too is, uh, if you come over here, the handlebars. There's been a lot of talk about handlebars and people think that the handlebars are, a, you know, it's not a steering wheel like we're used to in a pontoon boat. But I want, what I wanna talk about with the handlebars is, is this, is with a steering wheel, in order to go from full lock to full lock, and what I mean is as far as that steering wheel will turn to the left versus turning it to the right, it takes a while. So if you're trying to dock a boat, okay, and you gotta constantly turn that wheel and then work the throttle, it just takes longer for the boat to react. When you have handlebars like this, literally we're full lock, full lock. You can't do that with a regular pontoon boat. And what that does is it just offers you, you know, that much more precision when you're coming into a dock, okay? The other thing is the IBR system, which is the intelligent brake and reverse, Right here on your, right here where your left hand fingers are, that's going to operate your brake in reverse. So it's super easy to come into a dock. You've got your throttle over here. So everything is right literally at your fingertips, okay? So again, picture having a steering wheel coming into a dock. And a lot of you have owned a traditional boat or pontoon with a steering wheel, and you're constantly playing with that wheel. With this, it's literally, like I said, lock to lock. Everything is at your fingertips. I honestly feel that if the people were to give this a shot, they're gonna like this setup better than a steering wheel as well, okay? Uh, the other thing that's gotten brought up a lot is cruise control. Uh, these here are pre-production, so they don't have the regular cruise control that the production boats are gonna have. But on the production boats, you will be able to set your cruise control from three to 48 miles an hour, and you will not have to hold the finger throttle like you do on a Sea-Doo watercraft. So on the, just to go into depth about the Sea-Doo watercraft, you basically set your speed and you're gonna hold that throttle wide open to be able to achieve that speed. With these boats, the production boats, you won't have to do that. You're gonna be able to set your uh, cruise control speed and the boat is just gonna go at that speed without having to hold the throttle, which I think is really, really nice because not a lot of people are gonna to wanna to sit there and just hold that throttle all day long on a pontoon boat. So, um, again, can't say enough good things about these boats. I think they're gonna do really, really well. I think they're gonna fit a wide range of people's needs from family, you know, want to just go out and cruise to the people that want to have fun, whether it's with water sports or anything like that. Um, super, super stable, a lot of fun. Can't say enough about them. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and um, hit that little bell. You get an alert for when we do some more videos coming up in the future. Have a great day.